A very good morning, thanks for clicking on to the Sunday edition of Vogan's European Outlook. We're going to have a look first and foremost at the Northern Hemisphere view. And uh, this is the mean sea level pressure chart of the GFS Ensemble. One thing very much worth noting is that uh, area of high pressure you can see here as I play through the animation is centred almost directly over the pole. That's the almost polar opposite of what we had last year at this time. And uh, what that is essentially doing is, is keeping the Arctic Oscillation negative. Um, but because of the polar vortex generally being uh, anchored uh, on the North America, Greenland and uh, Europe side, what we're having is we've got a negative Arctic Oscillation, but we've got a kind of neutral North Atlantic Oscillation. And that is going to uh, reinforce my cold and stormy theme uh, or certainly the thinking towards cold and stormy as we go into the run-up to Christmas. Certainly we've got a tight pressure gradient between the low and middle latitudes, so that's uh, continuing to fire up a very strong jet stream. One area of low pressure is crossing the Atlantic after another. We're going to see what is going to be significant, though, is that area of high pressure is going to do its dirty work as we go through the upcoming week, because what that's going to do is it's going to allow uh, a push of Arctic air into North America, it's going to then get entrained in, in within an area of low pressure that's going to exit off the east coast of North America and it's going to bring potentially the first significant snowstorm to the northeastern US uh, before Christmas since 2013 and what that's going to do is it's going to cross over the Atlantic and it's going to potentially reintroduce a more wintry type of pattern to the British Isles. Um, because at the moment we're going to see, um, you know, the next several days, wind, rain and mild temperatures is going to be nothing like really what you would want to see for December. But certainly I do think that um, that snowstorm over the northeastern half of the United States, based on the overall pattern, we could have quite an interest in run up to Christmas, I think, over the uh, northwestern part of Europe here. So let's have a look at the Europe-North America pattern here. And we've got, like I say, uh, low pressure, just one after the other, pushing into the British Isles. More wind, more rain. The amount of rain that we've seen in recent times has been nothing short of incredible. We're going to continue to see that pattern as we go forward here. But as we press towards the end of the loop here, it's, it gets interesting, folks, because what we've essentially got, what we've essentially got here is the potential for... Um, uh, North Atlantic blocking but also blocking up over Scandinavia and that is going to allow the transfer uh, from east to west of cold air continental air and uh, it certainly sets the scene it's going to make for a very interesting run up to Christmas with cold areas of low pressure increasing the chances of snow but also the potential for a handoff to colder air over the continent getting transferred from east to west over the, the and, and in towards the UK here so like I say the NAO is uh, not negative um, but the Arctic Oscillation is negative and that is going to uh, continue to keep a colder uh, westerly airflow into the British Isles here and then hopefully as we, we go into potentially Christmas the new year Perhaps we'll see something a little bit different here. But certainly cold and stormy looks as if it's going to maintain itself. Uh, nothing um, cold about next week. Uh, but we're watching that East Coast snowstorm uh, exiting off North America in order to maybe see something a little bit more wintry here as we go towards the festive period. That's it for today. Hope you have a great day. Back in the next few days with more. Bye for now.